I think um, if you look back at the few years um, when Rattan joined, the, I mean, the, the, the company was all about making up money and trying to survive in, in the difficult climate. The sports car industry is very small, and uh, I think the, the emphasis has always been on trying to get the kind of bread and butter, butter products that make the most money. But, um, but I think Rattan felt this, that the, the F-Type was very much the kind of the halo of the brand. And that would really infuse the, the rest of the, the products. And he's absolutely right. That's what it is. That's what it's going to do, hopefully. Well, I think um, with, with a sports car, you get the chance to do the, the proportions and the volumes that you really dream of. And I think that's always the, the, the big thing we wanted out of the F-Type. We wanted the proportions to be the, the, most, uh, the best proportions of that, that type of car. And I think, hopefully, this will uh, influence the rest of the products we're doing as well. When you think about the design philosophy, that's always going to be related to Jaguar. And that's, you know, we, we, we operate now in a lots of different countries. Uh, and so people buy our products because they, they are Jaguar and they're very British and the rest of it. But we really have to understand the customer more and we will do a lot of research to understand the customer and tailor the products towards the different customers. Now we are more than ever a global com uh, company and we're based in the centre of England in Coventry. Some might argue it's not the best place to be to design a car for globally, but it is the heart of, of Jaguar. But we are, we are, we are, we do, we are thinking of having um, kind of satellite studios in, in other countries to understand the market better and understand the, the, the needs and the wants of, of new customers. Because I think that's the, the only way we can really feel it. And it, it really needs to be kind of felt by the designers, and it moves straight from the designers, I think. So this is something we, we are very keen on looking at in the future in, in some of the main cities around the world. You know, we would certainly be looking, you know, um, America and, and China and India, those sort of, Brazil, those sort of places. But like I say, it's very, very early days. It's just, I think at the moment, it's just that we've got, we know there's a need to do this. We need to, we need to learn more about the customers. Well, I started Jaguar in 2000. Uh, that was actually a year after, or six months or so after Ian actually started. Uh, so it was almost the rebirth of, of Jaguar design. Up until then, we were, we, were, we were becoming a little bit retro and seen as an old man's car almost. So our job over the last sort of, uh, 10 to 13 years was to try to gradually change that image. 